Greetings folks, I'm on a road trip. Right now I am on US 97 going south. I'm in Northern California and you are looking at Mount Shasta. I just got a good view of Mount Shasta from another viewpoint and I will uh, either attach a photo or a part of a video from that as well. But it's nice and clear here today, just a single cloud behind the mountain. A little bit of snow up there. And Mount Shasta is a definite sight to see if you've never seen it. It's pretty awesome. Behind Mount Shasta is a big, looks like a volcanic ash type of a butte. I will uh, put the name of that on the video when I remember what it is or when I uh, see it in writing. And now we are coming into the little town of Weed. That's right, that's the name of this town. If you ever stop in one of the souvenir shops around here, you will find a lot of uh, souvenirs that make the most of that name, Weed. <laughs> Not much else going on here. Good morning. <laughs> it's the next day. I'm continuing my journey down Highway 5 stopped in Reading for a very specific reason. I want to see the Sundial Bridge. I saw it years ago, many years ago, and since I'm in the area, I thought it would be nice to see it again. It's a very unusual piece of art that is a bridge that you can walk on. No traffic, but it is very cool. Oh, wow. The sun's hitting it in a really neat way. Here's a long distance view of it. And we're going over the Sacramento River. And we're walking on glass. <laughs> it's an odd feeling to walk on glass. I guess if you were really paranoid about it, you could walk on this center strip. There's two of these center strips. Hardly anyone here yet. A couple people out with their dogs. Oh wow, we're going to see the sun rise on the sundial bridge. Now that's cool. Well, this might be one of the coolest sunrise walks I've ever taken. Still nice out. I think it's probably in the low 70s. And it is 6.30 in the morning.
Wow, this might be one of the best times of the day to cross this bridge. This is part of a big Turtle Bay Park area. And oh gosh, I wish I had time to just stay here all day and explore this entire park. So much to see and do here for an entire day. Uh, this is reminding me I'm going to have to come back here for a focused trip here in Reading. There's a walkway, walking path down below. And we have crossed the bridge. Mission accomplished for this morning. I'm on one of those trails under the bridge right here at the Turtle Bay Museum. And what's that you say? There's a geocache nearby? Hmm, let's see if we can find it. Okay, my phone says it's 12 and a half feet away and I'm looking for something that might kind of give it away. How about over here? Oh! Something's down in there. Oh yeah. Now that's what I call a really fun geocache. Look at the size. Okay, open it up and sign the log. That's it for this morning's exploration. We're back on the road. This is just a fun little detour off of Highway 5 for just a few minutes. This is the old historic area of Cottonwood with some really cool buildings. And I thought it would just be a nice little break from the drive. And I might even get some food here. But uh, yeah. Nobody out and about yet. I just enjoy the buildings. I'll do another pan around in a minute. A lot of antique shops. And there's a big grill over there. Cottonwood is pretty cool. It's only, what, this historic area is only a couple blocks long. Good place to get out and take a stretch. Okay, probably my last stop along Highway 5 until I get a whole lot closer to home. I'm going to get some coffee here at the Rolling Hills Casino Resort. It's been a long time since I've been in a casino. <laughs> Rolling Hills. All right. Looks like they've got a restaurant. They may even have a little coffee shop. I may put a few coins in a machine. And this will be it for this video. This is in Corning, California. And this is the city where they are famous for olives and olive trees. So with this view of the casino, I'm going to say thanks for coming along with me and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.